Now your WLKY weather with meteorologist Chris Johnson. All right, folks, lots of cloud cover winning out, especially throughout this afternoon. But hey, despite that, temperature wise still climbing into the lower 80s officially for those afternoon highs here in Louisville. That's 10 better than where we should be for this time of the year. Not bad if you're a fan of those warmer temperatures. Right now, looking towards downtown, the cloudy skies winning out. That's going to be the case throughout this evening. Temperatures here in Louisville at 80 degrees. And we're going to see temperatures slowly drop off because of the clouds out there into the 70s throughout late evening. Notice some of the thicker cloud cover off to our south, and that's why these temperatures are running a little cooler, lower to mid 70s. Also across far southern Kentucky, seeing a few light returns on radar, a few showers across those areas. To our north, a little bit more time to heat up, so temperatures are warmer in the upper 70s and low 80s across southern portions of Indiana. Doppler radar skin in the skies. Hey, most of us on the dry side. It's downstate Kentucky where we're picking up on a few of those light sprinkles and light showers. And we're going to hold on to the chance here across our area, especially south. But there's still a chance for a few of those light scattered showers, not a washout by any means. So for those area uh, local high school football games, things look OK. But just keep in mind, you could have a passing light sprinkle or shower across the area. Temperature wise falling into the lower 70s. Of course, the cloud cover sticking around with that small chance, especially south for a few of those showers. All eyes right now in the weather world on Hurricane Delta nearing landfall as we speak, expected to make landfall here in the next hour or two, edging closer to the coastline there. And Lake Charles, about six weeks ago, had to deal with Hurricane Laura. Fast forward, and now we're talking another hurricane, sustained winds at 100 miles per hour, bearing down on the coast to the east of the eye wall. Isolated tornado threat, of course, the storm surge ramping up for those areas. Another a dangerous situation unfolding across the coastal areas there in Louisiana. So the impacts, we're talking those high winds, flooding rains up to 10 inches will be possible along with that tornado threat and storm surge between five upwards to on the high end 11 feet. As far as the track is concerned, making landfall into the first part of this evening as a category two hurricane before quickly racing off towards the north and east right here into the Ohio Valley as we get into this weekend, especially into your Sunday. And that's when for us that heavier rainfall, that threat begins to ramp up starting Sunday morning. Here's a look at future cast heading throughout this evening into tonight. Notice a few of those light scattered showers, a possibility scattered showers off and on. We'll stick around for your Saturday, not an all day type of rain here, but just note the cloudy skies, the off and on showers will be a good possibility through the day. It's Saturday night into your Sunday morning. That remnant low of Delta making its move across the area because of that heavy rainfall begins to ramp up and that's when we're talking that threat for the heavy rain into your Sunday morning and the first part of Sunday afternoon. Notice by Sunday evening that system is pushing off towards the east. Now as far as rainfall totals are concerned, lower amounts to our north. We're talking up to a half inch closer to an inch across southern portions of Indiana to our south. A bit of a different story. One to two inches plus a possibility. So bottom line here is heavy rainfall ramps up into your Sunday morning. Rainfall totals ranging between one to two inches plus, especially to our south. For this evening, 70s, mostly cloudy skies. Few showers will be a possibility. We look ahead for tomorrow. Again, scattered showers possible. Temperatures not as warm with highs in the middle 70s. For your seven-day forecast, weaker front moves through into your Monday late day afternoon early evening hours few showers a possibility otherwise look at this sunshine returning Tuesday Wednesday and temperatures pleasant Vicki hey we can't complain about that lower to mid 70s for those afternoon highs but if you have any weekend plans especially Sunday stay inside and watch some football it's gonna be a good day for it we'll make the best of that after having this really nice weather this week and we need some rain so this rain is a good thing too you bet thanks Chris sure